Welcome everybody, Nanka here, and it's time for another episode of Sold in Shorts. Welcome everyone, Sold and the Grin Brothers here, and it's time for a Sold in Short Start. Oh, it's a bit louder in now that I've got you got the audio here. Yeah, so yeah, this is a Sold in Short Start, as you can probably straight away tell, of a Sonic game, namely Sonic Forces. I got this as part of a um, Sonic uh, double pack, and whilst I have played a bit, uh, quite a bit of Mania, uh, done at least a campaign of Mania, I uh, haven't actually played Sonic Forces yet. Well, it was up in the air as to whether we were going to do a Grin Brothers playthrough of it or not, but in the end we decided, you know, we've been waiting a long time, let's just do a, uh, um, there's a reason I'm doing a Sonic short start of it, as you'll find out soon enough, because, though not for this reason as you see here, this is classic Sonic here. As long as you take have at least one ring, you'll swear when you take them. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, this is regular Sonic. Okay. Okay. Oh, neat. I like that. The LBRB does the uh, dash to the sides things. I like that apart from Unleashed. I'm not like a fan of the hint stopping me. Usually they put the hint at the bottom. What? Not interrupt the gameplay? Oh, oops. I think they wanted me to boost there. Press A to jump. Yeah, okay, I didn't need to... Gameplay interrupted like that. There we go, got the red coin. Woo! And, huh. Interesting that they made it part of desert. I was a little bit more... Oh. Wow, I was so focused on the worm in the background, I completely ignored that. No, 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 I want to go back. Oh, oh no. No, hey, hey. Oh, good thing I did go back. Could have missed that. Oh, control feels a little bit slippery. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of how they, you know... Oh, yeah, uh, there's a red coin back here as well. Oh, there. Huh, so the lower section was actually the best I wanted to go with. Weird that. Usually the whole point of it is that, you know, the upper section's harder to get to, so you want to get to the upper section, but no. Yeah, I'm not... F uh, as I keep trying to say, I'm not a fan of how they, um... Keep um, adding 2D sections into the free part, as it were. Oh, couldn't get that. Even with a speed boost. Sonic uh, uh, sort of 3D sort of sections, when, particularly when they keep introducing classic Sonic as part of it. You know, if you've got classic Sonic there, there's no need to. Uh, uh, as in, like, no need to have 2D sections in 3D Sonic's gameplay. You might as well focus it all on 3D Sonic. Yeah, I wasn't going for a high score, I was trying to look for those red rings. I believe that's how you get the custom parts of the custom character. Tails, what are you doing here? You were elsewhere before. I've heard this game isn't very good for Tails' character. Like, Tails could have easily taken out those robots. I mean, have you not seen him in Sonic Adventure? Now, this was pretty cool seeing in the trailers. I hear that it's apparently a bit more disappointing than what they show here. But it's really cool seeing the old villains like that. And of course, they have a good, cool introduction for the new guy. Yeah, Sonic Mania apparently is a sort of, uh, well, from my jacket from the end, it's apparently a prequel to this. And, like, the ending, you don't have to play Sonic Mania to understand this, but... The ending of Sonic Mania ties into this game. Cool action scene, though. <laughs> Even if it's just watching <laughs> Sonic get all the conversation while skiing the heck being out of him. And this is why I ended up uh, starting this sold and short start. I really do hope the audio is worked out well for this. Which is pretty funny given how strong a lot of these characters are. I, I always do love how games have to keep trying to think of new ways to tie into the whole character creation process. Create your own personal avatar with the character creator. Now, normally, I'd be making Nanka, so I'd go for the female here and try to make Nanka. Admittedly, it'd be Nanka as a furry, I guess, a Mobian. Is Mobian the right term? Do they actually reference Mobius? But, as you may have heard from Grin Brothers series before, I have mentioned throughout the time, ever since Sonic Adventure, a character known as Percy the Peacock. Why? I don't know, it just came up in a random conversation about how peacocks are designed almost to end up killing themselves, as it were. So that's who I shall be creating. Hold on to some rings. Oh, it's funny, I've been playing a game called Dylan's uh, Dead Heat Breakers, and they actually have a moment where you get to change what your character... Uh, you, ch you put your Mies in it, and you turn them into sort of effectively Sonic-styled animals. Um, or I guess more Star Fox-styled animals, but... Um, I, I put Nanka in, and she ended up as a cat. That's more for a chicken. I'd say that works for the best for the peacock. Okay, beak colour, that's definitely a silver. That, I think, does it. Go of that. Need to be fancy. This is a very cocky character. That's uh, yeah, definitely over the top. Oh, Type 4 looks pretty good on him. So you've got Type 8 here. It is very dramatic and over the top. Does a little pose and everything. 
Mm, type 4 or Type A? You know, I think the over-the-top works well for him with the pose. Type 4 does kind of give a nice stylish gentleman sort of kind of aspect to it. So dark and gloom. Percy the Peacock, who is fabulous! Unfortunately, he ran out all his clothes! <laughs> I do like Charmy the Bee. He's my favourite member of the Chaotix crew. No, I mean, it'd be interesting if the lot of you lot actually got to be playable and do stuff, but no, you don't often nowadays. Real shame that. Could have made a pretty cool Sonic Adventure style thing playing through as these characters. Hints. Off. Yeah. That kind of takes away a heck of a lot of the drama. You know, we've just built up this whole. We can do this without Sonic, and it's like, Sonic's alive! Like, come on, there's so many characters. Percy the Peacock, the fabulous character who is on a mission to get some clothes, because for some reason he lost all of his in the city. Not sure what that's all about. Oh. Oh, that's really weird, the perspective thing. Well, the good music's really good. I mean, that's not really saying much. It's Sonic. It's always got good music. Woo! Grapple! Okay, and that's yeah. cool. I must admit, I wasn't too hyped when I heard about this game. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm... Oh, the enemies do attack. I heard... Ooh. And I would have to jump back into their energy shot. Okay. Okay, there we go. Because that's uh, what Burst does. It's, it's strange. I thought that was going to be X. The style of gameplay doesn't feel like it's well suited to the engine they've built it in. Yeah, I wasn't exactly super thrilled about this. Oh, I do like that little part. The character's, you know, newbie at all. I thought that'd be a quick time event, but oh well. I thought that would also be a quick time event. Okay, let's see. What button do I press? Oh, A. Just A. Okay, good. There's no disadvantage in just holding down R2. Hmm. Well, there's clearly replayability then in the levels, because uh, I evidently don't have whatever is needed there to do the ring dash. Okay, that'd be why. That evidently isn't why. Again, from what I've gathered, the rings are the sort of co uh, custom sort of clothing parts, so it's kind of more the priority than the score. Because my character's uh, Percy Peak looks a tad naked here at the moment. Yeah, okay, let's see what there is for him to wear. You can customize your avatar outfit when a new item is added to the avatar. Okay, let's see, we got. Oh no, that's very stupid looking. Uh, hardly the best looking shirt, but you know, it's better than him just being naked. I mean, he's missing trousers, but oh well. Tails thinking he's up Omega, which really should be the first thing that anyone does. I'm sorry, I wasn't smart enough. You know, it really should be the first thing that anyone does, because, you know, Omega's just kind of OP. Help me. Yeah, Tails kind of... Yeah, they. I mean, they did point out that Tails had lost it, per se, but... Ah, it's really disappointing to see, given Tails' big breakthrough moment where he gained self-confidence was in Sonic Adventure. And again, this never made any sense. Classic Sonic should just be regular Sonic, but worse in every way. Because, you know, he's the Sonic from the past. He's not got anything that current Sonic wouldn't have. Like, they could have easily sort of skipped out the whole needing classic Sonic and just put Tails in the other character role. Your fu your present self is dead, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Would have been uh, quite a uh, shocking thing for past Sonic here to hear. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. People said that it felt weird, and, you know, I can see what they mean. The spin dash feels quite nice. A little bit too fast, in a sense, but... Oh, is that, like, the drop dash? Yeah, the drop dash thing. Huh. Now, see, that's a nice way of doing the hints, you know. No need to interrupt the gameplay or anything, just, uh... Yeah, I will admit, I wasn't exactly thrilled when I heard uh, the announcement of this game, because I wasn't a fan of Sonic J... Ooh, okay. I wasn't a fan of, uh, say, of Sonic Generations, um, which is kind of weird to say, because everyone's a big fan of it, but I don't know, I just, it just never gelled with me. The platforming never made, it felt all that comfortable sort of thing, and again, yeah, like, ooh, you kind of, like, end up magnetising to a spot, as it were, which but only slightly ahead of you sort of thing. Yeah, I missed out on a lot of the red rings. You know, I was kind of preferring that if they'd um, go with, um, say, you know, go back to the Sonic Adventure formula or such, or, you know, include other playable characters or thing, you know, with differing parts. Oh, well, that is Sonic Adventure. Um, again, it was mostly a hope for the Sonic Adventure formula to re recapture, because Unleashed was okay, and Colors was decent enough, but they never really super huge games for me. 
For a lot of people, Generations was top tier, though, so... I, get, I can see why they'd stick with it, and yet, ironically, they, from what I hear, given, and given the reception this game received, kind of messed it up. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, the sort of reasoning, effectively, behind that, uh, in a sense, I guess. Um, but I'll talk more about that in the next part. So, whoop, yay! I don't know what the mission was. I'll have to check the old ones, maybe replace some. Oh, so hey, people were trying to resist before. Oh, hand. I can taste your terror, child. All that anxiety but I'm fabulous. I'm too pretty to die. I'm too. Uh, peacocks aren't. You know, again, the whole point of uh, peacocks Please. is uh, they apparently just uh, grow out their tails to look pretty, but it's actually terrible because predators can easily grab it and you know hunt them down. So he wasn't a survivor because he was scared. He was a survivor because he ran. <laughs> I think Eggman would notice if Rouge was there. You know, he'd think he'd be a bit more alert about her. They're getting ready to banish him into space. What? You can't be serious. We hop there back and forth, no problem, all the time. That's low, even for Eggman. Yeah, they say about this torture thing, but nothing really comes from it, from what I've heard. This is good, Vector. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was so early on. <laughs> NEXT EPISODE! Cheerio!